Clash of Clans is an incredibly addictive game. It involves creativity, military strategy, and even worse, it's online and everyone is connected. First of all, how do you know if you are addicted to a game? In this case, Clash of Clans. Easy when you have the game installed in more than one device or even thinking of buying another one to get more coins. You sneak off to bathroom to check your village. Your whole family refers to it as that game. You develop a website dedicated to your game and the clan. You get up and check your account. Go for a run, check your account. Shower, check your account. Eat while reading or reading messages. When it's time to go to bed and you want to keep playing the game because something has attached to you now. Let's say you are waiting to give some troops to your teammates but the troops won't be ready until 15 minutes. You set alarm on your phone to make sure you don't miss your shield clock but you watch it anyway just to make sure. You tell everybody that you quit it but you are still playing it in silence. You spend hours planning a revenge or a war attack. A simulation game is always accounted for being addictive and time consuming. And if an online content is added to it, it definitely beats all the odds of having the best time killer of a game. Clash of Clans does this mix up pretty well and also has a very robust and fast server that helps to provide the best user experience in online gaming. The fact that it also has such a large multiplayer database with millions of people around the world playing, it just adds more fun to the awesome enjoyment that we already get from it. The new updates that they bring up and the agree to level up quicker is always quite of an addiction in itself. Well, this can be expressed mathematically in the form of this equation. Your total addiction equals to you plus your game plus your town hall plus your troops multiplied by your clan members. It's the interaction of your clan members that actually makes things so much more interesting. One more convincing reason is that whenever we attack someone and win the battle, our limbic system of the brain gets activated. It is a complex system of nerves and networks in the brain involving several areas near the edge of the cortex concerned with instinct and mood. It controls the basic emotions such as fear, pleasure, anger and drives. We experience the feeling of achievement which indeed makes us feel happy and more attached to the game. This in turn makes us to return back to the game again and again. But let's say you want to quit the game. Your journey after removing this game will be the toughest. There is a probability that you'll see some major events like your friends beg you to join back. They'll say you were the best warrior and the clan is incomplete without you. Don't fall in these traps. Best of luck. Have any suggestions or questions to ask? Put them down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to read them out. And make sure you follow us at Facebook, Twitter and Google+. You can also visit our website alldayscience.com for the latest science news. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.